Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to share a real quick tip with you today. Uh, I actually have a separate video. In fact, I'll make a playlist to put at the end of this one, but uh, using playing cards and woodworking. And I just decided every time I bust out a pack of playing cards, I'm just gonna shoot a quick little video showing how I use it. But uh, I'm doing toy boxes today for a customer and I have uh, piano hinges. Um, and that's kind of the beauty of this technique. I centered the piano hinge as best as I could on the lid. And then I have some marks as far as where it needs to go. And then I just put some wood here, just kind of keep it on a level playing field while I'm working on it. Um, Cause my table saw triples as my assembly table, my finishing area, and on game day, you know, little cocktail weenies. But anyways, um, get out some playing cards. This is a Bicicleta brand. Uh, they can be a whatever brand. I'll be happy to throw an Amazon affiliate link down below in case you don't know what playing cards are. But anyways, I need to center this in the opening. So I would say just eyeball it. You know, that's kind of what I do. It's what I did in the last three of these. But the neat thing is you, you could go around your shop and plane a little thin piece of wood or put it through the drum sander if you have one and try and find that exact thickness. No, you just come through. I believe playing cards are about three thou, uh, three thousandths of an inch a piece. So you just kind of just let them fall into that crack. See how many they kind of fill up, jam them in there, right? See if you can actually get a couple of them in there. Let's see here, maybe another one over there. A couple over here. And just so that it's tight, right? So you're kind of, okay, that's about it. They don't really want to jam in there anymore. In fact, that one didn't go in there either. So now, we all go back to school, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that one did end up even, which is great, you know, but that's not how it always happens. But if it was just one off, or if, I mean, if it's for whatever reason, if it's two off, so say you have eight over here and six over here, well then balance it out to be seven. You know what I mean? Or if it's just one off, just set it in one direction. Um, well, man. Flashbacks from top 40. Anyways, um, when you move it, you know, it doesn't matter. Like I said, they're only about three thousandths of a thickness. So, it, you know, if it's off by that much, eh, you're good to go. But anyways, that's a, a quick and easy way. Then you can line up your marks as far as in and out. And then I'll just pre-drill it, throw some screws in there, and I'll be good to go. Awesome. You guys, if I don't see you before the holidays and the new year, you guys enjoy the time with friends and family. Later. Now I gotta wait for this thing to stop bouncing. Hmm.